Hey guys, I'm Roger Roger Gaming, and today we are playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Let's get started. Uh, I'm entering into another level I very much enjoyed, although it is a gloomy setting. It uh, has some funny characters, and uh, this is one of the levels I noticed the changes in the remastered version, um, which I'll mention in a bit, but yeah. Um... So there is a skill point I will be trying to achieve in this level, which you get skill points by doing a specific task. In this level, it happens to be um, getting, uh, there's windmills uh, throughout the level. And if you destroy all the windmills, it gives you a skill uh, point, which is just not much. Uh, so as you just saw, there is a robot in this level and that is the uh, change that they made. Before the robot, you could only beat by uh, ramming into it. But now you can destroy it through fire, your fire blast. Which um, is, I think, a welcome addition. Just because it was kind of annoying sometimes to have to ram the enemy. Now you can kind of kill it from afar. Which is nice. Um, yeah. So gonna continue to get the gems in this level there's one other collectible that's unique which is these uh, light bulbs which are used to open the gates in this level it's the only level in the game that requires them but yeah another thing I really enjoyed about the Spyro franchise is each level has a um, new like not really an enemy but a new um, way to get life so in the first world like open hub it's sheep you can get this level it's little rats it's it's, I, it's a small thing but I think it adds a lot of um, character to the game because they could have just had the same oh you know uh, let's make it sheep through all the worlds but that might not have fit in some worlds so it's nice to see them having a variety of different creatures and all the um, worlds pretty much have different enemies I can't think of one off the top of my head that has like the same enemy maybe the um, the water worlds kind of have similar enemies but even in that they have variation which is nice keeps the game fresh uh, so throughout this level we are going to have to platform to uh, different areas to get gem there's basically there's three orbs in this world um, and requiring two two of them require us to platform and uh, for, but before we can do that we have to turn off the fans which I will be doing in a little bit which requires the uh, first I have to kill 18 but before we do that uh, let's get the first orb which is right over through that tunnel And it requires us killing 10 of these purple guys over here. So I am loading up the little generator over here with the orbs. Because these purple guys, I feel like they changed this part of the game too from the original. Because I think the in this version, at least I haven't seen them respawn. But I know in the um, original, if you didn't like kill them fast enough, they would respawn and it would make this a little bit more challenging than it is currently. So I'm gonna hunt this guy down and I keep replacing the orbs because at least in the original, I'm not sure how it works in this one, but I'm used to doing the original. So they would, um, they would only spawn if you had orbs in this specific area. So I gotta make sure there's orbs um, and then just pretty much keep going back and forth, killing them. And so that's where you get the quest for this. Uh, so basically just keep going back and forth, killing them, replacing the orbs, and um, basically until you kill 10 and then uh, you'll get, then you have to replace all the orbs. And once you do that, uh, I hate <laughs> ramming into the orbs. I feel like you should be able to pass. I, I guess it makes sense that you aren't able to pass through them, but like I, I make that mistake a few times just because I don't see them and then I ram right into them and it slows all my momentum that I was doing. Yeah, so here we go and getting the 
I believe we're halfway there. And so yeah, then you have to, once you've killed all the guys, now six out of ten. So four more. Um then we have to replace all the orbs and it will power the generator. And then I will finish. Uh then you get then the guy gives you the orb port and that's one out of three orbs done. So let's find him. Could get him done. Only two more, so one over in that area and uh, one over here. I feel like in the original, I could be wrong, but I feel like they could spawn more than one at a time. Where this one, it's kind of like only one is in one area and then the other one spawns in there. I felt like there was two in an area at the start in the original, but I could be wrong. It's been, it's been a few years since I played the original. So, all right, so that's uh, all 10 of them done. So now we'll just restore the orbs to power the generator and we shall get our first orb for this level, which is great. Um, the next two rely on platforming. I missed the orb over here. Uh, let's grab it over here. And yeah, so that area is complete. Get the center ones done. Um, right. So before we can finish the platforming, we needed to kill, um, I believe, 18 of mobs to uh, unlock gate portal power, which allows. All right, so we got the generator done, so we should get our first orb. Um, the gate allows us to destroy a few more of the windmills in the area and behind the windmills are switches that lower the fans which allow us to be able to platform on them so let's put our two uh, light bulbs in here power that and get to the next area collecting gems along the way you guys know the drill by now um, and getting Closer to 100%ing this level. Ooh, took a little damage there. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I, I kind of. I guess now is just good times. Any um, throughout the playthrough, my health is indicated by the um, my s companion Sparks, which is the little firefly next to me, based uh, on his color, is how much health I have. So if he's yellow. I can take four hits when they're blue, three, then green is two, and then when I have none, I am on my last life essentially, so I can only take one hit, and then I will die, and then uh, I have whatever, how many other lives I have currently, I think I have 11 as of right now. So I think that should be enough to power the trigger, um, the portal. It is. So I'm gonna first get the uh, little box, get those gems, get us closer to our goal, and then I can power, or rather, cut power to the fans, so I am able to uh, platform on them later in the level. All right. So that is the second fan powered I am going to uh, I also need to clear up the area which I'm going to do now which uh, so this is the area where you uh, start the platforming section to get the gem so he's basically saying hey make it to my I think it's his brother question mark not sure but basically you got to make it to um, his whatever species it is so uh, I missed one of the little windmill so I gotta go back break that and then that will turn off the final fan and I should be able to progress through the level and finish um, the platform pretty much let me hit the button that will turn off the final fan and then I shall uh, make my way on the platform so I did notice as I was flying around that I um, right I missed in gem so I'm going to pretty much right there 
you miss Sal right in the corner. Uh, there's purple gem that I don't want to miss. So I thought there was something over here originally. So I get a cha uh, check. I gave it a little check. I'm gonna drop down right over here, grab that last. Um, well, not the last gem because there's a few more, but the one gem I missed over here in this area. And then I can finish the flying platforming section over here so just fly over there and then uh, so this little area gives us two different gems so there's the easier part which is over here and then there's a little bit more complicated it's not that bad but it's a little bit longer and uh, that will give us a second um, or but once we fire up the generator again which this level is very much about uh, generators with their I like the little like electricity they have on the top of their head. Yeah, I think that's a nice touch that they added to, um, I don't know, I think it gives some character in there. I don't know. I think it's a welcome addition to the game. Uh, so I'm gonna just kinda, you can typically wait be a little bit, I'm trying to speed it up a little bit, cause yeah. So I, as I mentioned in a uh, previous level, I really enjoy being able to backtrack into the levels from like a new perspective I think that adds truly like I think this is great level design I believe this is the last windmill too which yeah it is so we got a uh, skill point which also gives us an extra health or live rather all right so let's get these uh, gems real quick and then we can fire up the generator and collect our orb <laughs> I love his little zap animation that he has. Alright, so that is the final orb in this level. And yeah. Uh, I think we have we just need a little bit more gems, just a few more. So I'm gonna fly over back to the base area and then make my way, and I think we're only missing like two gems. Could be wrong. I think we only are missing two in this level. So, yeah, so I'll go collect that. That's towards the end, right by the portal. And then we can gather our fifth, I think? I think this is episode five. Fifth talisman. And we will make our way on to the um, end of the episode. All right. Here we go. That is all 400 gems collected in this at, uh, level and now we can collect our final talisman and call it a episode well i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please comment rate and subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace out